The side gear shown in the photo supports the boat and deck. An idealized model of this girder is shown in the figure below, where it can be assumed A is a roller and B is a pin. Using a local code, the anticipated deck loading transmitted to the girder is 6 kN per meter. Wind exerts a resultant horizontal force of 4 kN as shown, and the mass of the boat is, that is supported by the girder is 23 MG. The boat's mass center is at point G. Determine the reactions at the support. So, kung titingnan natin dito, since sinabi sa problem that at point A, this is a roller. So, meaning we have one reaction here. At point B, this is a pin. So, meron tayong dalawang reaction dito, the BY and the BX. And since we only have one member, so this is statically determinate structure since we have three reactions. 3 is equal to 3. So, for the resultants of the load, Makikita natin dito that we have a uniformly distributed load of 6 kN per meter over the span of 3.8 meters. So that is the 2 meters plus 1.8, so a total of 3.8 meters. And the resultant will be acting at the centroid, which is half of the 3.8, that is 1.9 meter. And for the magnitude of the resultant, we have 6 kN per meter multiplied by the distance of 3.8 meters. And that is equal to 22.8 kN. For the mass of the boat which is given and it is acting at point G, so, binigay naman na uh, ang mass is 23 megagram. In order for us to compute for the weight, that is equal to mass multiplied by the gravitational constant. And that is equal to 23 megagram multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared. 23 megagram meaning that is 23 times 10 to the 6 grams is 9.81 meter per second squared and kung i-convert natin into kilogram we are going to divide this by 1000 so meaning that is 23 times 10 to the 3 kilogram multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared so we have here 225,630 newton which is equal to 225.6 kilo newton so in order for us to solve for the bx we are going to submit forces horizontal is equal to zero taking the direction to the right as positive Makikita natin dito na yung horizontal forces natin ay yung wind loading natin which is 4 kN directed to the right so that is positive minus Bx because we assume that Bx is directed to the left dalawa lang naman sila so that is equal to 0 and Bx is equal to 4 Kilo newton. Since positive yung lumabas na sagot, meaning tama yung assumption natin that Bx is directed to the left. In order for us to solve for the value of the reaction Ay, we are going to solve for the moment at point B. So, summation of moment at point B is equal to 0, taking the clockwise direction as positive. So, makikita natin dito that the weight of the boat, which is 225.6 kN, is directed downward. So, it will create a counterclockwise rotation. So, that is negative 225.6 kN multiplied by the distance of 5.4 meters. So, ito yun. So, 5.4 from the point B. It is just the total of this 2 meters plus 1.8 plus 1.6 
for the wind load na 4 kN so ito yon we have a clockwise rotation so there is plus 4 multiplied by the distance of 0.3 meter then for the 22.8 kN that is counterclockwise so minus 22.8 kN multiplied by the distance of 1.9 meter and the ay is clockwise so we have plus ay multiplied by the distance of 2 meters that is equal to zero so solving for the value of the ay ay is equal to 630.2 kilonewton since positive yung lumabas na sagot meaning tama yung assumption that ay is directed upward in order for us to solve for the value of the by we are going to summate forces vertical so summation of the forces vertical is equal to zero taking the upward direction as positive so we have here the weight negative because it is directed downward to 25.6 kilonewton and the 22.8 kilonewton is also downward, so minus 22.8 kilonewton plus the value of the AY, 630.2 kilonewton. Then the BY is directed upward, that is equal to zero. So solving for the value of the BY, we have here by is equal to 381.8 kilonewton since positive yung lumabas na sagot meaning our assumption for the by na upward is correct